A Metro Detroit food pantry is calling on the community for much needed donations. With the rising cost of food, gas, and everything else, the Monroe nonprofit says fewer people are giving. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham has the call for action. Here at Oaks Village, the organization strives to fill many needs, including making sure no one goes hungry. But I'm told as of late, it's been a real challenge keeping these pantry shelves full. Earlier this week, we got to the point where our shelves were basically empty. We had almost nothing on our shelves. Pastor Heather Boone says food donations are down as donors, everyday people, adjust to inflation. She also says fewer food donations are coming from bigger organizations. And so it's really scary because the one thing you hate is to turn people away. The founder and pastor of Oaks of Righteousness in Monroe says the demand for food increased during the pandemic. With the pantry going from handing out 25 boxes a week to 150 boxes a week, as well as dog food, cat food, toilet paper and diapers for adults and babies. Meat is our, one of our biggest needs because, you know, we need to give them protein. Sandy Lipsdorf is the nurse for Oaks Village Clinic across the hall from the pantry. They get seen by the doctor and they'll say they don't have any food and we'll get them food or we'll have a diabetic and they'll, you know, then we'll go over to the pantry and try to help them pick out some healthier options. Lipsdorf posted the need for food donations on Facebook earlier this week and I'm told the community responded in a big way almost filling the freezer and padding other parts of the pantry. We're not full, but I'm confident that we can at least make it through a week or two, you know, and so, and I know the good Lord will provide. If you've got extra, you know, we're, we're asking you to help and to be a blessing. If you'd like to help Oaks Village, you can find a link to their organization's website on our website, WXYZ.com. In Monroe, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.